Well, thank you. So that, thank was like you a, that was a commercial. <laughs> they showed. Hey, it only came out a year ago. You know, if people haven't seen it, they can. <laughs> that was a spot. Yes. Okay. So thanks for being here. And I guess I want to begin by asking you, it seems like obviously through Key and Peele, which many of us, uh, you know, love. Some Key and Peele fans. It has there. been a recurring theme of yours to use some degree of humor, and I understand this one is not an out-and-out -out comedy at all. There's primarily a horror movie, which is a genre you, you also love. But, you know, to, to use, to, to approach the subject of race relations through unconventional avenues, when did you figure out that was an effective way of doing that? Well, you know, I think... I, I, I realized in, in the middle of this movie and looking back on Key and Peele and, and what we did with race, I think that's when I realized, holy shit, I'm obsessed with race. <laughs> it was, it, it, sort of, it sort of hit me. I mean, these, you know, I, I think I've had this uh, obsession with um, African American identity, with um, uh, the representation of my perspective and, and the black perspective and uh, the broadening of what that means and what, what is regarded as the, the African-American perspective in our culture and in pop culture, which, you know, for, for a long time has had very thin avenues um, it, w with which they, it, it's explored the African-American perspective. If I remember correctly, this, the writing of this script predates Key and Peele. You were thinking about this and working on it for many years. I wonder when along the line you also thought about directing a film for the first time because there are things in Key and Peele that you didn't necessarily direct, but they were your brainchild. And I'm thinking in particular of, a wonder, I think, the greatest sketch comedy skit I would put up there with any of them called Negro Town, Negro Town. which is Thank your... You your invention, and it kind of, you can see a connective thread from that to get out, I think. Well, thank you. You know, I, I can't take the entire credit for Negro Town. I never thought I'd say that sentence. <laughs> um, but <laughs> that, was a, that was a beautiful collaboration um, between all the writers. Uh, that was actually, you know, sketches happen many different ways. That was one that uh, we all kind of wrote, but, you know, I think the, the, the notion that I, I really was insistent on infusing into Negro Town was this element of uh, the, the police brutality, of the real world that Negro Town was. People are like, Negro Town, please describe what this is. <laughs> we did a sketch where um, a guy gets, you know, he's, he's uh, hit by police and he ends up going to this mythical place where all the black people live happily, and it's this musical thing. And it was, a, it was a achievement of the whole team. High production value, amazing. Mu mu musical elements that are terrific. Yeah, uh, but it, the, you know, the connection yeah. is that I love to take a big, an impossible risk with the, uh, the premise and work backwards from there and say, you can't do a, a, a horror movie about race in this way, in, the, in, in these times when there's so much actual pain and suffering, uh, you know, uh, from racism. And uh, to try and still package that in a way that everybody in the audience goes, ha has a good time. Um, that's why it took so long. <laughs> well, like, one of the actors in your film, and it's a, a terrific ensemble, um, but Marcus Henderson, who plays Walter, mm -hmm. said that he believes that you could have played every single part in this film, <laughs> the way with your you know, abilities that we've seen in, in sketch comedy. Did you ever think about playing a character or multiple characters in this film? Well, you know, it, it, it sort of, it crossed my mind a couple times, but to answer your question, really, no. I wanted to direct this, and um, I, I, I needed actors who were better than me. <laughs> But I, I have to say, in working with the actors for, for the movie, um, I did feel like in talking to them, I, I had to become the character as well, to an extent. Or I had to sort of be able to access the emotion that I was asking them to access. 
um, in, in, in order to describe what I was looking for from the scene. So it was a very emotional process for that reason, and, and I felt what the characters felt uh, with their br br brilliant performances. Yeah.